Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. Look what cute molds I got today to work with and all I need to say thank you for sending them to me is Crosspire. It's a great shop where you can buy different items and they also have lots of silicone molds for resin. And I have a coupon for a discount $5 when you spend $40 and over. So that is great and I really encourage you to see what this shop is all about. In today's video I'll be casting lots of resin in these cute little bunny molds and I'll try to make enough bunnies just to make some funky art. So I have a wooden frame that I will be sticking down my bunnies and hopefully it's gonna look great. And today's creation is inspired by a, another resin artist and I follow her on Instagram. And her Instagram name is Crystal Love Art. And she makes these beautiful frames with uh, gummy bears and sometimes uh, with like massive rings. So I thought to have a go and these little bunny molds are just great for what I want to do. So here I am mixing my resin colors and I am mixing all seven rainbow colors one by one. It took me seven days to make my little bunnies. So here is yellow, green and blues. So it's basically straightforward, not a lot talking and explaining. So I just gonna put some music in background and let you enjoy the pouring part. And I will come back to you shortly.
So there you go. All the pouring is done now and now it's time to demold and see how they actually look like. So at the beginning the molds are new and it's quite hard to uh, get them out, especially the years. I struggled a lot in here. But once you get the hang of it, it's all good. Uh, I'm feeling here actually like I am giving birth. It's that hard. And also I don't want to damage it. And look at that little baby. How cute is that? And so shiny. Oh, so cute. And now on to the next one. Oh, super cute little baby. So this part is gonna be all about the molding and yeah, enjoy again and I'll come back to you shortly. Oh, look at that red baby. How cute are they and here is the next step for me it's I'm having a wood board it's 16 over 20 inches large and I will put some white gesso on it so I will uh, make it ready to put and stick on the bunnies so now I'm just coloring the wood board. I'm trying to be neat as possible. And of course, it's gonna take more than one coat to make it exactly perfectly white. And then I thought for better coverage, maybe it would be better use a spray paint. So after I paint another coat of gesso white, I got my white spray paint and did a little coat outside. 
And after it was done and all dried, I asked my lovely husband to help me uh, to put the bunnies in the order with the right space amount. He has a great eye for this detail and spacing, so I asked him to help me. And here it is, all finished and ready, my little bunny army in the frame. I'm super happy how it turned out and yeah, I think it will look great on some child's wall in the bedroom or in a playroom. So yeah, I'm really happy. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.